Hey, how's it going today? And I just wanted to make a quick, fun little video on how to make a fairly realistic looking Nana. <laughs> I don't know why this just keeps coming up. I guess because it was in a lightweight book one time and I tried doing it and actually didn't have much luck and then I put it away. So anyway, we're going to start by making a box. Simple box here. Come in here to numeric. You just want to make sure X's segments is 8 to 2. It's probably best to have these numbers match up here. So this would be 1.35 so that the height and the depth are the same. And then the width you can make whatever you really want to. And uh, <clears throat> that's that. And of course we hit enter to commit. I'm not going too fast. So anyway, we're going to click on polygons here and I'm going to right click with my mouse and I'm going to circle along there. I'm going to select those polygons. Then I'm going to come over here to modify and I'm going to click on the size tool and I'm just going to click and drag like that. And there is uh, the top part. You hit space bar to deselect the tool. You're going to come over here and now we're going to right click again and select the, the back end. We're going to click the size tool again and we're just going to size that down like that. And that is pretty much it for that. So space bar again to drop the tool and we deselect, uh, click in the corner to deselect. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on the, these four polygons on the very top of the banana so I hit uh, shift and I go click 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 then I'm gonna hit E on the keyboard and then T for move and we're just gonna pull this out here to give it a little bit of a stab there okay and then we're gonna hit spacebar and we're gonna hit click over here in the corner to deselect and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to reposition ourselves here we're gonna go to the edge tool and then I'm just going to click holding down shift, click here, here, just on the edges on the corner here. So I'm going to spin around here, well, probably not the best way to go, here, there, and there, right? Got them all. And then all we're going to do is we're going to go into multiply and we're going to go to chamfer. Oops, I messed up. Uh, let's drop that tool, hit the space bar. I meant to go into select and select loop. Now go into multiply chamfer and it turns red and then just click and drag and you can, it's like almost like edge bevel, beveling the edges here, but not, don't go too far, like right about like that. Then hit space bar entered and then we'll hit uh, deselect all that. Then we're going to come to the front end of this thing and make sure we're in polygon mode, clicking down here on the bottom and we're going to hold shift and go click, 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 click. We're going to go to multiply and we're going to click triple and that'll do that for us. Space bar to drop the tool and the selection, turn around. Do the same thing on the back end here. Let's press shift, whoops, deselect. Let's see, drop the tool. Oh, hit enter. Let's just hit enter. Oh, no tool. Okay. Deselect. Now I should be able to hit shift and select those. There we go. And now I'm just going to hit triple and do the same thing there on the end. Enter to drop the tool. No tool selected. Okay. So then we're going to deselect that. If I go ahead and hit tab, that's pretty much our banana right there. Only other thing we can do is give it a little bit more size in the middle. So I'm going to hit tab again. I'm going to come over here and click the edge tool. And then I'm going to select Let's see, where are we going to select here? Oh, uh, here we go. We're going to select, holding shift down to multi-select. Click there. We're going to click there. We're going to come around and click here. And then we're going to come around underneath and click there. And then we'll put ourselves back into this position. And then we're going to come over here to uh, selection and go to expand selection then we're going to go to modify and we're going to go to the size tool and we're just going to fatten that up a little bit in the middle just a little bit like that not too much just a uh, just a little bit and then enter to drop the tool and then we deselect and then if we hit uh, tab that's pretty much our banana there that's it looks pretty good Good enough. 
One more thing we're going to do though, F2, we can center this. And then we're going to come over here to the, should be here somewhere, the bend tool there under rotate. And we're just going to click and drag here, click tab just to come out of subdivision there. We're just going to click and drag up and just kind of keep straight on that line and drag it up like to right about there. Enter to drop the tool and hit tab again. And there is our banana. Looking pretty good, I think. Just pretty simple, uh, basic shape. Okay, then what we'll do is we'll just save this object, save it as a banana uh, two, I guess, and hit save. And then we'll send this object to layout and we'll do a little bit of surfacing. Okay, so back in layout, we're just gonna do some quick and easy surfacing for this thing. Let's just put it into VPR mode. If you want, you can adjust the background colors here. Just maybe make it uh, a little more dramatic lighting. You can see it's some of the blue is coming over to it. And then we're going to go into camera view. If I'm on the object, I can click for rotation and we'll just turn it a little bit more toward us. And I'll just bank it up a little bit more. Maybe look a little more interesting. And then we're going to go into the service editor and we'll, we'll turn on smoothing here. And that'll smooth it up for this the banana actually looks more like skin so if we go into preset we're going to go open preset shelf we'll click up here on the top for the built-ins we're going to go down to skin and we're going to click on light skin double click it and go yes and then uh, if you want to just kind of throw on some colors right now you can just go to epidermis here and just give it a yellow there and come down here to dermis and I'll give it another color yellow there. And you've already kind of got a nice look going there, but it's almost too perfect. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the edit node graph. We wanna go to crust, double click that. And then what we'll do is we'll double click on this and the background color we actually want to be yellow. So we can just choose that yellow right there. So it didn't go through, wait, I didn't click okay, that's why. So we'll click there and go okay. Let's see, why did that go through? Okay, there we go, okay. The foreground color we want to be black. And go, okay. So now if we hook this up here, it's kind of cool because uh, the, this is showing you what you're kind of gonna get, the image you're gonna get. So you can kind of use that as your reference here. But I would just play around with these numbers, but oh, let's hook up the color to the epidermis there. That looks kind of crazy. <laughs> let's go ahead and just drop the width down to like 3%. We can maybe boost the contrast up a little bit there and just play around with these numbers. There's no right or wrong. And then maybe we'll just drop the opacity down a touch just something like that to where you feel it looks like dots you would, you know, marks you would see on a, a banana. And this, I guess, is the artistic part. Okay, so that's pretty good for that. And then we'll come up here and we're going to choose a mixer. And we'll double click there. We'll bring in our mixer. And then we want to also bring in a gradient. So it's nice to have changing in colors a little bit, maybe going from green to yellow, a little bit more green to yellow. Double click here on gradient. For the background color, we can just give it a yellowish color again, something like that. And then here for our, in our input X, we probably want to change it to the Y coordinate. And then uh, for our first key, we'll change the color from black to again, just pick a, a yellow color. And let's see, that's right. Oops, I didn't mean to come out of the gradient yet. We want to drop the opacity maybe here down to 25%. And then on uh, key two, we'll come down here to the bottom. And here we want to pick more of a green color. So let me actually have a, a color I already uh, chosen, which was, uh, let's see, four, one, nine, uh, zero. Go okay. And then we might also consider changing this, the smoothing to Bezier on both of these two. So I think that gives a little bit smoother transition. and. I meant to say on the uh, second key here, make it 50%. 
Okay, so it's a little bit more to the green. And you can kind of see what you're getting here. So just experiment with these, you know, so the first key I have at 25% opacity with this orange, I mean this yellow color, and then the second key I have at 50% alpha, it's a green. And then I have it on the Y coordinate and have Bezier set. The only other thing that, uh, now we're gonna combine these colors. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this into the background here and pull this off of here and put it in the foreground there. And you should see kind of a combination of these two things. You've gotta switch your blending mode in the mixer. So you gotta switch it from normal to multiply. And now you see you've got kind of a nice combination there. And if we look at our banana, that's what our banana looks like. So, you know, just play around with these settings. It may be that you want it looking a little different than this, and that's perfectly fine. But it's just for fun. This is really just for fun of how you can create a relatively photorealistic banana. And of course, uh, you can start cloning these. So it really starts getting out of hand. <laughs> so if we came in here to clone, and clone current item, you go three. Now you got now you got a whole bunch of uh, bananas going on over here. So uh, you got another one there, and uh, another one there, and you've got your original banana. Did I move this one too? Yeah. So you got <laughs> four bananas. So you can just start having fun with it and playing around with it. But this is a, I think it's good to have some, an exercise where you're modeling something like this, like a fruit or um, some kind of object, and then just keep practicing it until you can do it really quick. And it's a good way to familiarize yourself with a bunch of controls at one time. So like just doing this exercise, you're learning like eight or 10 techniques. And then on another object, you're learning another 10. And the faster you get, the better you get. And you just keep getting better and better and better and better. I hope you found this helpful. Take care. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next time.